Hi there, it's Jeff. Welcome to those who are new to my channel and those who subscribe to me. Well, I have done a previous video on vacuum uh, hold down clamps using a vacuum pump. And I've just made a few new ones now to show you. This is my Mark II version. And uh, after using them for a while, you find out what you'd actually need and what you can improve on. So in this video here, I've, I've made these um, uh, these vacuum clamps a little bit differently to show you that there are a couple of methods you can use in getting your routed um, trench in there for your rubber seal. I've made a couple of narrow ones. This was a prototype, the first one I made. Um, this is the one that I'm actually sticking with there. And this is to cater for uh, some skinny strips that you might be wanting to hold down or you know clamp down. I find I'm using these uh, narrow cleats here about 65 millimeters uh, for runners and so on and I wanted to make a, f a, a vacuum clamp to suit that size so hence I come up with this design here that will will cater for that I found also that I needed to run that seal closer to my edge compared to the first model I made and that was to cater for when I wanted to trim use the trimming tool for my when I'm edging so it doesn't hit the side uh, and on this uh, latest version that I did do I didn't router out or trench out the center like in these in this one here um, I wanted to see if it would work and I had a feeling it would but I wanted to just make sure it would work even if I didn't do that because uh, actually using this type of uh, jig that I did for these ones which are over here. These are the jigs that I use. So that was the jig I used for that for the skinny ones. And this is the bigger one I used for that one. Um, these rely on using a bush with your trimmer. So the bush or the guide runs along the edges here, which you'll see in the video. And yeah, so this was just another way of making them. You might have seen in the first video where I used the router guide that I made in a previous YouTube video. If anyone's interested in, in making one of those, you can see that, You'll click on the link above. But that was how I made the first batch of these. And in this one, it's a different method. It's using a, an actual template or a jig, which is just made out of six mil or quarter inch MDF. I used a force a bit in the corners and did four holes to get that radius and then cut out the middle with uh, a jigsaw and then trimmed it on the on the router. So that was just another way of making it, but doing that method, I was unable to trench out this middle section using the trimmer and the bush guide because of the large area and you don't have anything to go to on the side. So um, I just left it and sure enough, it does work fine uh, leaving it like that. So if you're not confident in doing that internal trench anyway on this type of size uh, suction pad, you don't need to. Uh, I can clearly see in the video, you just make your outside seal, make sure it does stick up a bit. Um, this one probably sticking up at least two to three millimeters and then when it's compressed, you know, it pulls down. Um, I use the same uh, fittings that I did in the first video, same pump, uh, I did the match fit dovetail slots in the bottom so it's clamped down the same way as in the first video with match fit clamps and very happy with these results especially these ones here I've been longing for these skinny strip ones so when I do these uh, strips and uh, so if you're interested in watching how I made these ones with using this jig keep watching and hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you on the other side of it.
Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video on my Mark II version of these vacuum pads. And as you can see, it was just a different way of doing it um, using a, making a template or a jig this time and using your guide bush on your trimmer to achieve that outside uh, trench for your seal. The one thing I did learn with this uh, modification here that I did was when I made this one here for the uh, narrow cleats that I generally make, like I was mentioning. Um, it works okay and it holds it down, but it doesn't uh, clamp to the bench as good as this one here. This is the second one I made. If you are going to make something narrow, um, just allow a little bit extra there, an extra uh, meat there for you to clamp down. Because what I found with this one here, uh, the, the match fit clamps ended up sticking out and it just didn't clamp as well onto the bench as you can see. So uh, you live and learn from your mistakes and that's why I'm shooting this video to you know, show you people out there the, the, the things that didn't work for me. But other than that, um, like I mentioned in the intro, you don't need to do that trench in the middle. Uh, as, as this is proven here, uh, you can just get away with the seal on the outside, which was what I wanted to, to show in this video also, that you can make these just plain and using a different method of, uh, of doing it. Uh, I am still happy with the way these clamp down to the bench with the match fit clamps. Um, they're just out of the way. You don't have to have a clamp on the top, which is going to uh, interfere with you know, your clamping down. I used the same vacuum, uh, vacuum pump that I used in the first video. Uh, for those that have not seen that video, I suggest you it'd be a good idea to watch that video and, and, and see how I did the first um, series of these. And I talk a little bit about the vacuum pump. The vacuum pump isn't anything too fancy. It's just something that I bought from Amazon or, or you know, online, eBay, Amazon. Uh, a cheap little vacuum pump. I just got some uh, uh, pipes, uh, tubes, you know, poly tubing for it and, and these same fittings that I was using. So they are really easy. Uh, so there's been really fun to make and really handy in the workshop. So hopefully um, you enjoyed this video and you got something out of it uh, or inspired to make your own uh, vacuum uh, hold down clamps using your vacuum pump. And uh, yeah, happy days for me. I'm happy with these things and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. That just about wraps up this video for today. And hopefully I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and press like if you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.